Welcome everybody in Argentina. My name is Jimmy Vassar, I'm owner of KV Racing Technology, racing Indy cars in the IZOD Indy Car Series here in beautiful, frozen Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, today we're very excited to have a visit from Esteban Guerrieri, one of your native drivers who we have watched over the last year in the Indy Lights Series, winning races, pole positions, and we're very excited to have a visit here from the shop from Esteban. About the middle of last year, we began speaking with Esteban and watching him race Indy Lights with the idea that perhaps we could potentially have Esteban in the car for a 2012 season in the IZOD IndyCar Series. Uh, today, we're here doing seat fittings, having him in the car to uh, check the steering, check the pedals, to, to get acclimated with the car, uh, and hopefully being able to put a test together by the end of the month. It is our wish to have partnered with uh, Tony Canan, who's a driver from Brazil, uh, one of our drivers from last year, also Ernesto Viso from Venezuela. Uh, so it is our wish to complete uh, a Latin American IndyCar theme team uh, with, the, with the talent of Esteban Guerrieri from, uh, from Argentina. To have, uh, to have the focus on a Latin American themed IndyCar team and to attack the championship is our goal and we're working very hard to achieve that. For 2012, IndyCar has a new chassis, a new Dallara chassis uh, that's completely uh, redesigned and new and a, comp and a new uh, power plant 2.2 uh, liter V6 twin turbo engine uh, which is different from the past we've had uh, V8 3.5 liter engine uh, and with the new car and uh, the new engine combination uh, we partnered with uh, Chevrolet uh, for our engine power plant and uh, with, a, with, a, with a level playing field and a platform with a new car platform you know, we think that uh, bringing in young talent with Esteban Guerrieri who has had experience with the carbon brakes the new car has all full carbon brakes which uh, nobody in our series has had to deal with in the past Esteban has had some experience with carbon, full carbon brakes in the series that he's raced in Europe and with the level playing field we feel this is a good opportunity and a perfect time to bring, to bring Esteban in to uh, bring him up to the ranks uh, of IndyCar. IndyCar has had a resurgence of popularity uh, in the last few years. IndyCar is on the upswing and it's growing. Uh, IndyCar is a, uh, it's more of a global series worldwide. We, we travel to Canada. Uh, this year we're going to China, we travel to Brazil, there's a race in Brazil and the possibility to expand uh, eventually into uh, even potentially a race in Buenos Aires, Argentina, uh, could be Venezuela. In IndyCar is, uh, is really on the upswing and on a growth period. It is very exciting times for us to be involved. We've been speaking uh, with John De La Pena, uh, who's helping Esteban out and, and, and know a lot about the, the program uh, backed by the government and uh, a program that's going to bring Argentina more to the front, to the front stage, the forefront of motorsport, not only in, in America but around, around the world, to bring Argentina with a with a great racing champion like Esteban can be, and, uh, and make make the country more famous, make uh, Esteban more famous, potentially even more famous than uh, the tango, uh, the wine, and uh, and even the beef. I want to thank everybody in Argentina for giving me the time. Uh, and sunny Argentina that is, we're up here in frozen Indianapolis, but giving me the time to explain and invite you into our shop uh, and also say thank you to Esteban and everybody for coming to visit and the hope, hopefully the next time we see you will be in uh, Buenos Aires. Thank you.